I say look at where we were in this conference just three or four years ago to where we are today. It's been tremendous strides. This conference has made huge leaps and bounds. And this, this media day, year two in the, in the Superdome, from where it used to be, is amazing. Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of the presidents and chancellors, athletic directors and football coaches, and especially the thousand football student athletes, I'd like to welcome everyone to New Orleans, to the Mercedes-Benz Superdome, home of the Sunbelt Conference, 2014 Sunbelt Conference Football Media Day. And it's a combination of consistency. I think the uh, media day is that kickoff for all of us as coaches in relation to keep getting started and knowing it's right around the corner. A week from today, our players report. And we're certainly excited about this season to be able to say, hey, you want to play against the best people? This is the place to come. The Sun Belt years ago, but it's changed so much then. The Sun Belt from traditional offense to spread offense to option offense. It's really competitive. You know, there's a lot of teams that can beat each other. It's every week you got to bring your A game because you never know what's going to happen in the Sun Belt. Thanks so much for joining us. Of course, this is the social suite, so everything we're doing based on social media. The Commissioner Carl Benson's done a great job with with uh, getting the promotions out, uh, you know, revitalizing the conference. We've had teams that have left, teams that are coming in. Well, as we start the 2014 season, we come off a, a 13 season that had tremendous success in, in various sports. and. You know, on the football side, it was the best best season we ever had, and I think that there's a there's a level of expectation that as we go go forward in 2014. You know, Appalachian State obviously won two or three national championships and beat Michigan a few years ago. So we're bringing strong teams in, in Sun Belt Conference. We're going to, I think they'll make a, a very big noise early. I say we're very we're very excited. Uh, we're ready to play new teams and. Play hard of competition. A lot of people are counting us out, but we're ready to show them what we're about and ready to play. Well, that's that's what we do now. We're we're going to try to play fast. We're going to try to play as fast as we can and try to get as many snaps as we can. Uh, change is tough for for anyone, adults, kids, whoever you're talking about. Uh, but they did a really good job. Lafayette and Monroe's and Troy's, and they've been they've been FBS for a long time. They've been recruiting for that for a long time. Georgia Southern and Appalachian State and those guys have fit very well into this league. The parity in the league is, is really, really good. And I think there's a lot of people that could be ranked one or you know one spot above or one spot below at any point. I think everybody's good enough to win. Uh, so it's a challenge every week. Sure, sure, you got to be ready to play every week. ESPN3, even though it's been around for several years, has now kind of established itself as as a as a real uh, broadcast entity. And I think the Sun Belt has an opportunity to. Uh, to really be on the, on the cutting edge. The Sun Belt Conference to me has got to be one of the toughest of the, of the Group 5 conferences. And last year, uh, it, not only did it talk the talk, it walked the walk with the conference finishing number one ahead of the American, ahead of the Conference USA, ahead of the MAC, and ahead of the Mountain West. It's good to uh, establish our conference. You know, I, I think we're probably the top mid-major conference in America, and, and uh, they'll just strengthen it, and it's good to have some stability with the 11 teams in it. It's a great football conference. We're really excited to come into it. A um, bunch of outstanding coaches and players, and so we're just expecting to line up and compete every week. Really cool to be able to, to be here and meet people and meet other players. Hey, it feels good to be in the Sun Belt. It, it feels good to be able to call somewhere your home. I think it's good for our fan base to be able to hear these guys and hear what kind of quality young men are here throughout the Sun Belt Conference. And it's great. I, I love some of the things Carl had to say about kind of where the conference is positioned, yeah, exactly. the future of the conference. Yeah. There's a level of expectation that as we go go forward in 2014, there's there's excitement with the new universities in Appalachian State and Georgia Southern and Idaho and New Mexico State. So I think there's a, a great level of enthusiasm and energy in the Sun Belt right now.